Well, the largest vaccination programme in the history of the NHS continued today in the Midlands as more people were immunised against COVID-19. Injections have got underway at a number of hospitals in the region, but questions have been raised about the lack of supply in some areas with high case numbers. Our reporter Emma Thomas has been following this for us, joins me now. So, a uh, momentous day, obviously, for Coventry yesterday. Now it's Stoke-on-Trent's turn. Yes, yesterday Coventry made history by being the location for the first ever coronavirus vaccination in the world, outside of trials that is. But today it was the turn of the Royal Stoke University Hospital to offer the immunisations. Now as we know, those aged over 80 or those who work in care homes have been given priority. And so the first to have it this morning in Staffordshire was 81-year-old great-grandfather Alan Stevenson from Blythe Bridge. He said it was an honour to be at the front of the queue. He was followed shortly after by Rosalind Buxton, who's a care worker from Sneed Green. Now, she said it didn't hurt, which is reassuring news for those of us who are still waiting to have it. Now, anyone who's had the first injection will need a booster jab in 21 days' time to complete the inoculation. Yeah, it's always horrible seeing people being jabbed, I think. Anyway, a Stoke may already have the vaccine, but there is concern about places that don't. Yes, last week we got a list of the NHS trusts in the Midlands who were due to have the vaccine first. Now, notably absent was Birmingham. This is an issue that one of the city's Labour MPs raised this afternoon in the House of Commons when he challenged the Prime Minister. Could the uh, Prime Minister kindly explain to the people of Tier 3 Birmingham, population over 1 million and where almost 2,000 have lost their lives, why he doesn't consider them a priority for receipt of the vaccine. Uh, we, we, the, the Joint Committee on Vaccination and, and Immunisation uh, has set out very clear criteria of, of, of the groups, that, starting uh, with those over 80, the care homes, uh, workers, NHS workers, those in care homes. Uh, he knows the criteria very well. And Birmingham, of course, uh, will, be, uh, will, be, will be amongst them. Of course that's right. I, and I, I, I'm afraid I simply uh, cannot accept the, the premise of his question. Well, NHS England says it expects inoculations to happen in Birmingham shortly, but it hasn't given an exact time frame for that. Of course, Nick, we must remember that here in the region, since the pandemic began, a total of 5,760 people have sadly died after testing positive for COVID-19. Emma, thank you.